okay guys i just need to to say something okay i just figured something out it's pretty funny because i tried to find the word for for what uh, what this process will do to you which i'm writing about it's it's kind of a process that will um change your mindset and that's the thing my my keywords here are are uh, like fixing your mindset and you will gain this ability this shield of god okay that's what i call it you know um shield of god and i call it anti-fragility anyhow i was thinking and i was thinking what 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 is this process called what is actually happening to to the reader or, or to, to to the person well then suddenly i saw the word what's happening and and, and this word is heavily loaded with like christian ideas and propaganda you know so you you're going to think that the word is silly and so so did i think you know but the word isn't silly so the word that you're going to um have is is re uh, repent um and the the text that i'm writing is going to help you repent uh, because simply so the bible simply says repent blah 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 you know that's what the bible says repent because and then it says like you're going to get this and this you're going to get that and that if you repent you know that's not very clear you know you have to be clear about why you know repent has to be it has to come from within you know otherwise it becomes this irritating um pointless slogan you know just repent you know it doesn't mean anything but then i figured out that it's actually what what is going to happen here in this process of reading this this text that i'm doing it's going to trigger your repent for you you don't have to like you don't have to um yeah it's going to trigger re repent it's really cool you have no choice when you start reading it you're going to repent you see this is this is, this is <laughs> so funny so funny um and uh, but i know how to, how to put it to words and i'm happy about that um you're going to repent wow right it's amazing and that's the word right i'm going to use it in the book thou shall thou sh thou shalt repent and repenting will give you power that's it right and when it comes to your approach you can approach this simply from i mean i don't care about your motives okay so you can you can do this simply to gain power totally fine uh, so you can take this you can consider this to be a recipe for power uh, repenting will give you power and um, it's easy the, re the re repenting is easy because yeah it's put to words you know you simply you simply consume the text and then you simply repent it's like automatic process um, and then you're going to be protected 
I mean, it's so easy. Um, yeah. And where are my critics again? There's no one. To, there's nowhere to be seen. And I've said so so many crazy stuff. I mean, it seems crazy what I'm saying, right? Sometimes, you know. It, yeah, it, it does because it's like hocus pocus, you know. But yeah. But if my words wouldn't reach out to the world, then I wouldn't see the mirroring going on that is in the world. So um, I'm sure that my words, my words are reaching out. Somehow they are. But yeah. So automatic triggering repent. That's the thing. And maybe like some people will not be able to read the text. They will simply stop reading because it's too much, you know. Um, but the way to repenting is already laid. And it was simply a riddle. It was a riddle to be solved. And solving the riddle, seeing the solution of the riddle in front of you, will make you repent. You see? So cool. And that will lead to this defensive aura. Defensive aura of spikes. Invisible spikes. Like crown of thorns, but pointing outwards as people attack you. You know, I don't know, right? right what does it mean to, you know, I'm, I'm taking those words of Jesus. He's telling you to turn the other cheek. I'm also telling you to turn the other cheek, but... That it will hurt someone. I mean, if you don't want to hurt someone, you speak back. And you, like, you, you, you say what's on your mind, right? And, uh, and you make your voice heard. In that case, the, the, those that um, attack you are safer. Almost, you know. So, I also think turning the other cheek is a good idea, but I see it as like turning the other cheek is like an ultimate weapon or something. You see, it's it's like an aggression almost to turn the other cheek. <laughs> it is, and I mean it is if you repent. But you have to, rep I mean, no one, no one has repented. That's the thing. You haven't repented. No one has. Because you didn't solve the riddle. You have to solve the riddle to be able to repent. Otherwise you can't. No one can. And, and again, to me personally, it, it doesn't really matter if this is a real story or not, the, the Bible story. Of course, it would be cool if it was real. But for me personally, it, it, it has a value in itself, this, this, um, the sense morale and, and uh, the meme, the meme uh, value, you know, it is a meme. It has lots of energy in this. Imagine all the prayers. On, on, only that, you see. People have been praying forever. And they have been doing strange stuff. 
and uh, <clears throat> and if you're the only one <laughs> yeah so anyhow yeah I'm, I'm sure that the only way to repent is is to know to know the solution to the riddle but the reading that solution understanding it is a, 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 a tough experience of course maybe it's supposed to be and that's why i'm saying that i don't care about your motives because i myself may i'm not sure that my motives are, are good i i simply say like okay um i love truth just like this guy i love um i love power basically i do okay and i've, I've been clear about that but i i do it from for a reason right there's a goal always um but i like i, I like pet patterns and so on you know fractal patterns and things like that but i mean if i'm being if i'm being led to understand something i cannot just turn my back to that and it's leading here you know um and this is I think this is the way to, to repent and I think that no one has repented and that's why there is no greatness you could say there is no righteousness of God To you see just like this this Bible verse here is saying we we as like the people of earth haven't understood this okay we haven't un understood the crucifixion and I'm going to prove it to you it's for 2024 as i said just a lot of teasers 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 yeah. okay bye bye